Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Casciano. And I'm Rod Wood. It was a murder that stunned our community back in 1985. Nanette Gordon, a pathologist working as an intern for the Onondaga County Medical Examiner, was suffocated in her town of DeWitt apartment. And now we're learning new, never-before-shared details on the main suspect and the person who could hold the key to finally solving this cold case mystery. Dr. Nanette Gordon, just 30 years old, passionate about life, driven when it came to her job. I actually knew Nanette Gordon. She was a forensic pathologist and had done some work uh, at our local medical examiner's office. And she was, by all accounts, going to be a rising star. But in August of 1985, someone took all of that away. But who? The doors to Gordon's DeWitt apartment on Croydon Lane were locked. No signs of forced entry. Only one small sign someone was in her apartment. A plant knocked over in her bedroom. Investigators were convinced someone had manipulated the scene. She was laid out perfectly on her back, arms at her side, uh, bedspread in a blanket uh, right up to her neck, uh, almost as if it was a, a wake. Weeks before her murder, Gordon told friends she thought someone had been in her apartment. She found things like her underwear disturbed. Attention focused on a man who lived in the same building. He was never publicly identified, but Fitzpatrick says he did maintenance work and had a key to the apartment. The man denied knowing or hearing anything, but his mother, who lived with him, gave an entirely different account of what she heard the night of the murder. Uh, she clearly heard Nanette, in my judgment, being murdered. Um, she heard some, you know, cries for some, some type of struggle going on. Not a violent struggle, but a struggle nevertheless. But there was never enough probable cause to arrest the man. And now? The person who is the main suspect um, is dead. And in, uh, I want to say, October of 1990 and January of 1992, we believe from the same person uh, we got two 911 calls basically indicating from the caller. You have the right suspect. You have, you have the right suspect. Fitzpatrick believes that caller still holds the key. And we're hoping that that person, if she is still alive, would come forward at this point because there's no reason for her to testify. We just like to give the Gordon family the peace of knowing that, uh, you know, the the perpetrator, the person that killed her daughter, is deceased. The DA figures the system owes at least that much to a woman so passionate about bringing justice to others. You have the right suspect. Anyone with information, call the Onondaga County Sheriff's Office at 315-435-3051.